have over 20 clinical um, skincare brands that we distribute. And we feel that we've brought in the best brands with the best technology, the best science, and the best use of nature. And then that kind of led us to MAD Skincare. MAD Skincare stands for Maximum Active Dermaceuticals. And we've had several classes over their last couple of months, kind I think of this going is our over yeah. each different skin concern and how to treat that specific skin concern. Um, this one today is acne and the art of extractions, really specializing in that back to school acne treatment. Um, but keep in mind, MAD Skincare has five different skin concerns you can Pull, pull from along with a additional solar line that is all different SPFs. And one of the th reasons um, Mad Skin Care is so unique is that we're able to layer and cocktail to maximize um, different results with different chemical peels and masks, masks. So we're able to treat multiple skin concerns in one treatment. And we'll get with that. Um, we'll go over that again with Christopher, but over the last six classes, we've really experimented in layering and cocktailing different peels and masks so we could treat multiple skin concerns in one treatment. Um, also, California Skin Care Supply, supply all, uh, offers the incredible Madster Rewards Program. We're super proud of this program. Um, it's essentially where you can earn your back bar for free when you purchase the retail, um, how it works, and we can get more in depth with this on a one-to-one -one basis, but when you buy six retail products, those can be mixed and matched. You can earn a professional back bar product for free. Um, this really helps the bottom line, and essentially, if you have a staff or yourself that are good retailers, you can get your revenue to 100% on your actual facial, which is always very important, but super beneficial right now during these times. And before we start off the class, we wanted to let you know the kit you received is going to be on sale with the addition of the extraction and the fraction. This is what it's looked like. I hope you guys can see. It's 20% um, off. So it's regularly at 346 with a 20% off that goes to about 276. Um, so yeah, this is going to be a really great, great class and great kit. I hope everyone's kit got to them non-leaked. If you've also been in this class, <laughs> you know we have been on the search for the perfect container. I'm hoping we found it this time. <laughs> um, but without further ado, I just want to thank everyone again. We have joining with, with us Christopher Kiever, who is the National Mad Skin Care Educator. And we're going to let him take it away. Thanks, ladies. And um, thanks, ladies. And welcome back, everybody. I know some of you have been to some of the previous classes, and some of you are new joining us. Um, I think I'm not quite sure if uh, you guys can see us, but on my end, I'm seeing your screens is just blacked out all the attendees yeah a lot of them have their uh cameras, cameras turned, turned off, off so okay. yeah totally fine so they Looks might like want to turn on their cameras when um you guys all might want to turn on your cameras when we do the treatment so we can see each other um part of this treatment is uh you'll as you know you got that um the charcoal mask um, it'll be good to see everybody and ask questions while we're doing that particular mask. So feel free to turn on your video then or whenever um, you'd like to. Great. Yeah, feel free to do that. We're going to want to, you know, do that collaboratively when we go to the, the treatment part. But first, we're going to do some theory like we've done in the other classes. Um, we're going to try to do something a little different this time because I understand the first bunch of classes, we really did a lot of in-depth information, but for some of you that have joined us that many times, you got the hang of it. Um, our newcomers, we still wanna have them all, have all the relevant information. So we're gonna try to strike a, a balance and really just you know focus on the concerns we're doing in today's treatment. Does that sound good? Excellent, okay. Um, and should I wait for Kelly or should I, you know, start with the, the PowerPoint, Julia? No, go ahead. She is just grabbing a pen to check off who has attended or who is attending right now. So get, get going. <laughs> Let's see. Okay. Is this. 
Can you see that from beginning? So yeah, yeah, we can see yeah. it. Okay, excellent. I'm gonna try <laughs> to move this over. Let's see the box. Okay, all right, all right, much better. Okay, beautiful skin by design. Mad skincare, blending the best science and nature offers to deliver the most advanced potent skincare products on the market today. Mad's proprietary formulations are manufactured in our New Jersey facility and uh, are made in the USA. Full range of, and you guys have already seen this, but really, really important, full range of products for every skin concern and type. Each skin concern has its own story formulated by our own R&D team using the best, most active ingredients. So they're getting a really high value for, you know, their dollars they're paying for each product they're taking home with them. Key selling points, high performance, innovative formulations, skin concern and type specific ranges, attractive pricing with clear, simple packaging. For our newcomers, the the um, color coding on the packaging helps in the treatment room and also the point of retail sale. So that's something we always uh, touch on during each one of these classes. Core four philosophy. All right, so uh, again, we have four key tenants to our approach to aesthetics and everyone can agree upon the fact that step one and step four are pretty much across the board. Any skincare line you work with, you're gonna see this. We feel that step two and three are what really set us apart from, from the rest. Christopher, um, Christopher, sorry for interrupting. Um, you're still on the, on the first slide. So is it, I'm not sure if it's moving forward. Or it's on the second slide. I mean, on the second. That's, oh, wow, that's bizarre. On my end, it's, it's moving. Hold on. <laughs> okay. Exfoliation benefits, no? No, you're yeah. still on the second slide. Okay, let's start from the beginning. All right, can you see the first slide now? No, it's still on the <laughs> second slide. Oh, uh, wow, okay, this is a little bit. Well, I mean, you can just continue to, to educate and I can email everybody this PowerPoint. Um, Zoom is having a hard day today. I don't know if everyone is in class right now. <laughs> this, this is giving us a little bit of, of tech difficulty today for some okay, reason. So it did go back to the first slide now. Okay. Okay. So it's just, uh, okay. And now it's going to the slide second. two. Yeah. Yep. That's slide two. Okay. Awesome. All right. Um, that's I'm going to expand it again. If it does this again, I'm just going to shrink it back down a little bit and we're going to just manually go through it. Okay. Let's see if you can, we can go three for three here and go to the <laughs> next one. Okay. Okay. Uh, yes, we're good. Better? Okay. Um, all right. So as we were saying, we've got these four key steps. Step one and four, most skincare brands can agree on. We feel that step two and three are what really set us apart from, from the rest. So we always want to focus on exfoliation, no matter what skincare line we're using. Very, very important. And we always want to focus on collagen and elastin synthesis, just as important. That's across the board, no matter what brand you use. We can all agree upon that. But Mad Skincare also has step two, focusing on cellular respiration, and step three, focusing on cellular detoxification. And for our newcomers, you'll see a lot of the ingredient decks in the environmental line are focused on that step two and that step three. So that's more or less the hub of the wheel when it comes to med skincare. We have the environmental in the middle and the other skin concerns go around almost like a wheel and a hub. Okay, exfoliation benefits. We've gone over this before. Um, so before clogged and infected pores, rough and aged skin, wrinkles, lines, and blemishes. After exfoliation, we have purification of pores, eliminates infections deep in the skin's surface, and it also boosts collagen production to smooth away lines, wrinkles, and blemishes.
Step two, cellular respiration. This process is tricky because oxygen molecules, or O2, have to be split apart and during intermediate stages around individually negative charged oxygen atoms that have not yet fully combined with hydrogen to form a very stable molecule, water, or H2O. These free radicals are highly reactive and antioxidants are compounds that can absorb these free radicals and render them harmless. So um, cellular respiration, we're really focusing on that transaction without inciting damage through ingredient decks that we're using in these formulations. One of them, uh, which is oxygen skin, boosts the body's capacity to overcome hypoxic stress and eases the transport of oxygen within cells by promoting oxygenation of skin cells. Oxygen skin improves the skin surface condition, giving it a healthy glow. So that's step two. Okay, our step three, cellular detoxification. We have a little picture here on the left-hand side. We have a healthy cell where nutrients can be easily assimilated and eliminated, and we have an unhealthy cell. Assimilation and elimination are vastly inhibited. Another peptide, cell detox, by reinforcing this detoxifying cell system, cell detox minimizes the accumulation of lipofuscin aggregates and thereby contributes to cell and tissue longevity. This active ingredient improves the skin radiance of tired and intoxicated skin and limits the signs of aging by smoothing micro relief and wrinkles. Stimulate your skin to detox naturally. Massage can boost your lymphatic system. Um, again, guys, we've gone over this before. You can even do dry brushing before a shower or so on and so forth. That'll help with you know, that process. But the real focus today is on these peptide technologies that we use in the environmental line. And last but not least, collagen and elastin production with exfoliation and peptide signalers. So as you age, the rate of collagen that is produced in your skin starts to slow down. The very action of forced exfoliation creates a mild trauma in the skin, quite literally jump-starting your collagen. Your collagen is given a boost in response to being wounded. This in turn activates the fibroblasts, so even more elastin and collagen is synthesized in the dermis. And finally, peptides and plant-based stem cells are segments of active proteins that communicate with cells and instruct them to behave in certain ways. In the skin, peptides and stem cells signal elastin production. Okay, can you guys still see? We're on page five. All right, excellent. Okay, so this is the treatment that we wrote specifically for today's class. Um, treatment protocol steps. So again, we're, we're focusing on getting you know, back into school, leaving summer, too much heat, too much sunscreen. Um, you know, maybe we have some, some acneic issues that need to be dealt with. We really wanna be looking you know, refreshed and top notch when we enter our classes uh, in the school for any of those kids that are going to high school or college or even middle school. So this is a very, very steppy treatment. It's a very creative treatment. So I think we're gonna have a lot of fun with it. Um, and in order, we have salicylic cell cleanser, everyday renewing toner, one to three layers of acne peel followed by the mandala peel. Okay, so we're going to get a little creative with those two steps. We're going to neutralize using our three step everyday renewing uh, toner, water, and the neutralizer. We're then going to roll into the extraction and diffraction and perform extractions. Um, that stuff isn't in here, but it's very, very important. So redness rescue, breakout control, charcoal peel off mask, environmental detox mask, spot on targeted skin brightening serum, um, breakout control daily moisturizer, and then hyper sheer matte finish SPF 50 daily moisturizer. So those are all the components that you guys should have 
um, how to arrive in your kit. Okay. Here, again, we've got the mad wheel. We, we've covered this in every segment we've done. Environmental in the middle, that's that red hub. And then the other components are the wheel-like mechanism that it branches out from. So as a little refresher for everyone, whether you're first joining us, whether you've seen these classes before, that wheel, that hub of that wheel is a great jumping off point for anyone, any skin type, any uh, age, skin concern, you're always gonna be um, not having to worry about what you're sending them home with retail-wise if you give them some of the environmental line. And then when they get comfortable with that, you can really start to build on that with anti-aging, brightening, maybe both, um, maybe anti-aging and delicate, maybe it's more than two. So you can really mold this to be specific to the, to the person. Okay, so we're gonna start going over our treatment steps. All right, so we've got our cleanser, cell cell cleanser. This is a beta hydroxy acid, which thoroughly cleanses the skin for the peel to have a deeper penetration. And I don't know if anyone that joined us last time, you remember when you use this, it really does a nice job to, you know, set the stage for the active ingredients from the peels that are gonna fall afterwards. Step two, again, we're using Everyday Renewing Toner. Um, this second step increases stubborn oil and dirt and dead skin removal for optimum peel penetration. Okay. Exfoliation and peels. In this particular treatment, we're using the acne peel and then we're gonna be using the new Mandelic peel with 25% CBD. Um, I think we're gonna get a little creative with this and leave it up to you how many layers. The goal is three all together, but you might wanna do one layer of the acne peel first. Um, you might wanna do three layers of the acne peel. I thought it might be nice to do personally one layer of the acne peel and then two layers of the Mandelic on top. That sounded like a nice combination. So we're gonna leave that up to being creative um, in this treatment. Then we're going to neutralize, but we're gonna use that three-step neutralization process, everyday renewing toner, then neutralizer solution, quickly ap apply, um, and then we're, we're doing our water, our three-step. Neutralizer, water, and the everyday renewing toner again. And that everyday renewing toner has licorice extract, rosemary extract, and oat derived soothing extracts. Can you guys hear me okay? You can? Okay. So that's going to help us to, when we're in that state of we just got done administering a peel, we don't want to take the pH from super high to super low. We want to gradually bring that, bring that down. It's going to ensure higher comfort level for the client as well. Okay, step five, redness rescue. Post peel hydration. This again contains Cita plant Richter, a complex combination of herbal anti irritant extracts, Nutrizen, a lipopeptide that can help prevent and reverse signs of inflammation, and common soothe irritated skin. Simglucan, derived from beta glucan, this skin conditioner can effectively protect against UV damage. So this is the great first step when you've done the active part of the treatment to help them move into the, the protect stage. Breakout control charcoal peel off mask. This is also a new product. Um, this was launched as a four new product um, combination that we were so excited to share with you guys at the shows. And unfortunately we haven't been able to do the shows, but we're getting creative with these new products during the treatments and classes. So we're gonna to get to use a brand new one today. Uh, I think you guys are gonna be really excited about that. Okay, uh, we actually have a, a second mask. We're gonna be doing an environmental detox mask with a booster serum, okay? 
is. That's a little booster serum for everyone. Okay. Finishing steps. Step seven, spot on targeted skin brightening serum, breakout control daily moisturizer. Uh, the moisturizer step, again, is an excellent opportunity to cross protocol and deliver multiple results. Finally, we're going to do step nine. This is our sun or solar protection factor. So we're going to be doing a hypershear SPF 50. Okay. more. I'm not going to cover all these slides, ladies, like we, we discussed earlier, but I think, let's go back to the acne. Okay, so featured ingredients in the acne line as a whole, we're just going to go, you know, not as in-depth as we've done before, but I think it's really important for our newcomers. Featured ingredients, salicylic acid at a 2%, benzoyl peroxide or BP at a 5%, Alp sebum, tea tree oil, willow bark extract, and sulfur. Environmental. Okay, can you guys see that? All right, excellent. All right, so again, we're going to go down the list. We've got our cell detox, our HelioGuard, our HelioGuard 365 helps with solar protection. Shield-backed peptide helps with the elimination of bacteria on the skin. Oxygen skin helps with the transport of oxygen to keep the cells healthy. Produ 400, Syncol, Philodendron extract, Trinity complex, apple extract, grapefruit stem cell extract, Unirepair T43, titanium dioxide and zinc oxide, Lavendox and Bisolvol. Okay, so environmental, acneic. Kelly, do you think we should cover the flex specifically since we're going to be using, um, you know, one of the new formats. Well, we did that in a previous. We can we can still go over it. But I'm thinking, you know, this is a flex product, and because this treatment is so universal for everyone, it makes a great opportunity to use the something like a flex product, like the CBD uh, peel in this treatment. What do you guys think? Acne, environmental. See where I'm going with that. So, um, very nice way to use that. And then finally, mad stacking. What is mad stacking? So again, this is the combining of two or more mad treatment products from different skin concerns, categories, during a single application. Why should I mad stack? Able to address multiple skin concerns in a single pass, delivery of more active ingredients for an amplified effect, giving the skin more active ingredients to benefit from. Okay, and then we've got our serum buddies, obviously. Um, it, it's, you're combining different serums and or creams. You're just crossing protocol, crossing skin condition. Okay. All right, so this is a, quite a steppy treatment today. I think we're gonna minimize our PowerPoint here. And if you'd like to, you can un, um, you can turn your video on now. Oh, you can unshare the screen, Chris, and if you're done, because we're seeing your uh, screensaver right now. Okay, is that better? Yep. <laughs> no. We're still seeing it. Um, Scott, yeah, just unshare unshare your screen if you can. Okay, bear with me guys, I'm trying to. Mm 
Oh, I miss the days where we could all just be in a classroom and have <laughs> everything. Yeah, this is like a little. Look at Christy's there twice. <laughs> Are you serious? <laughs> all right. Is this better, guys? Your home screen is on. Yeah. Um, maybe if I unmake you co host, you might. Let's do. Oh, here. Maybe let's see if that helps. There we go. There we go. I can do it. Is that better? Yeah, we, 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 un, we, we took that privilege away from you. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So, what was it? Just it wasn't sharing the, 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 the uh, PowerPoint? Uh, no, we saw the PowerPoint. That was fine, um, but it wouldn't go off, so we could see like your screensaver. But I was able to fix it, so no. Uh, okay, so we're good. Everyone can see. Yep. Okay. All okay. right. I don't know, Antonio, Tina, Leslie, Carol, Jenny, Susan. You guys wanna? Can we see your lovely faces? If not, that's totally fine. <laughs> 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 okay if you're in your jam. Yeah, Christy, I see you on twice. <laughs> okay. Okay, so Let's we're see. okay. There we go. We're gonna get started on the treatment here. Did anyone have any questions regarding uh, Christopher's uh, lecture? I'm gonna go ahead um, before you guys go. I'm gonna unmute you. If you have any background noise or anything like that, I just ask that you stay muted so it's not distracting. And um, but this point on, you feel free to just ask your questions as we go. Jenny, oh, when we're unmuting you, hold on one sec. There you <laughs> go. Jenny, you have a question? Wait, we can't hear her. Hold on, unmute. Sorry, okay. Jenny. Sorry, okay. Jenny. <laughs> Hi, guys. Hi, Christopher. What's, what's, what are the ingredients in the acne peel? So the ingredients in our acne peel are lactic acid, glycolic acid, and salicylic acid. It's actually okay. a blend. Okay. There's three different acids in there. And the thing that's nice about all of our peels or the water-based peels is that they are also blends. It's just the blend changes for each skin condition. So it makes for a really gentle peel that most people can um, tolerate, but they're still getting the result that they want. Break the tires. Cool. Okay, and then we are going to go over more uh, product specific ingredient technology as well as we go through each product, just so it doesn't get too redundant. Um, but we're going to go ahead and start. Some of the things you'll need for this facial is like a bowl of water, um, sponges or skincare pads or gauze, whatever you prefer. And the most important, <laughs> uh, tongue depressor. If you don't have a tongue depressor, um, the back side of your fan brush can also be used. You don't want to apply the charcoal mask with the actual brush. You'll, you'll realize why quickly if you do. It just, it's way too thick for this little flimsy brush. So you want something a little bit more sturdy so you can really spread it on thinly. Um, and we'll go over techniques as we, um, as we get to that. Yeah, Christopher will share some good techniques about the charcoal peel off mask. Um, so once again, this treatment is combining the skin concerns that uh, Christopher covered. So first and foremost, acne, um, and then brightening, which is going to address any um, in hyperpigmentation from post-inflammatory, um, something left over from uh, pimple. So it's going to really help with that. And then we're always um, within MAD. As, as Christopher spoke, um, that hub of the mad wheel is always the environmental and we wanna try to use something from the environmental line. And in this case, it is the environmental detoxification mask. Um, so everybody, when you, well, I can't see most people, but if you're ready to go, you can give us a thumbs up. <laughs> Perfect. Okay. All good. <laughs> So we're going to start with the salicylic cleanser, which of course is the 2% salicylic acid. I'm going to grab a little more water now. You said that column just a little bit. This is um, the retail size. This is really enriched with oil controlling botanicals. It's really a deep cleansing action. It's infused with a trinity complex, which is white tea, green tea, and red tea. So just that there, it's high in antioxidants. Also has willow bark, 
eucalyptus, ginger, and aloe vera. And you're gonna wanna um, uh, suds this up with water, emulsify it. It smells very fresh, almost minty, and it just feels really nice and refreshing and revitalizing on the skin, which I really like. That does. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's not overpowering either. A lot of times acne cleansers smell like really uh, medical, and I like that this is a lot uh, more fresh, more minty. It's nice. And then if you are wearing like a lot of foundation, feel free to do a double cleanse. Um, I didn't wear any foundation or anything like that today. I just have eye makeup on. So I'm just gonna be okay doing one very thorough deep cleanse. And as far as retail goes, um, this cleanser can be used once daily. It can be used three times a week. It really depends on what other concerns you're dealing with. So if you have a lot of um, post-inflammatory hyperpigmentation. You could use the um, salicylic cleanser during the day to help control oil and the brightening cleanser at night to work on that hyperpigmentation. Um, or if uh, your client had um, was suffering from, from too much salicylic, they could use the salicylic four times a week on the delicate skin cleansing gel the remainder of the time. So you can um, just, as with all of Mad Skin Care, you can combine um, products from different lines. And uh, quickly, I want everyone to know, um, none of the Mad cleansers have any like alcohol. It doesn't have any um, parabens or chemical. Or so Yeah, sorry, run late. I had a Yes, of course, Gabby, you can get the recording for today's class. No worries um, that if anyone has to like pop off, if anything like that, we can always. Can you that very loud one? Can you turn it off? Ooh. Who is that? Someone's. <laughs> <Kevin needs to mute. laughs> okay. Who is I'm, that? I'm not sure. <laughs> All right. Okay. Everybody ready to go on to the next step? Okay. This is the Everyday Renewing Toner. And um, we use this, you can use this several times in the facial. As you're going to see, we use it to tone here. But then we I'll also... I'll call you next time. Please turn it off. Oh, I don't know. I'm on a conference call. You can't just walk away. <laughs> uh, yeah, whoever is... Let me see. I'm trying to it's see. It's very easy to turn it off. Not on mute. Okay. It's Go the, ahead and his partner's class on mute, is that the problem? Hmm? Is his partner's class on mute, is that the problem, I guess? <laughs> I think so. I just went ahead and muted almost everyone. So, so if you have should... a question, you can type it in or raise your hand and we will unmute you. Okay. And we're going to go in with the Everyday Renewing Toner. This is used in every single MAD facial. Um, this is actually slightly exfoliating. It has a very small amount of multi-fruit acids in it. Also has a cranberry extract, an arnica extract, calendula. Um, it has Heligard 365 and Uniripair T43. So it's a really, it's a non-drying, balancing, nourishing, quenching, and just an amazing toner for all skin types. Can be used on acneic, can be used on sensitive, can be used on anti-aging. So this is really going to be like, your overall toner for all skin types. Toner also has a little bit of hyaluronic acid in it as well, so you can get a little bit of hydration benefits from it, mm -hmm. which is nice. A lot of toners don't pack up on the active ingredients so much, but Mad Skin Care absolutely does. More actives, the better. <laughs> this one is effective, but it's gentle to use every day, even if you want to do it. It's just, it's just fine. You could even use it twice a day. It's really nice. It'd be like a good aftershave as well to help prevent any clogging or breakouts or ingrown hairs. 
Okay, now we're gonna start the peel process. So as Christopher said, we have two peels that we're using today. The acne peel, which is salicylic, glycolic, and lactic, I believe. I'm not mm -hmm. wearing my glasses. <laughs> the Mandelic peel, 25% um, with CBD. So if, if you're not suffering um, any breakouts right now and you just want to try these products, my suggestion would be one coat of the acne peel and two coats, if you can handle it, of the Mandelic peel. The Mandelic peel is, I found, very gentle. If you're suffering from breakouts, then you can do two coats of the acne peel. You might get a little bit of flaking. Um, you might not. It just depends on um, how much exfoliation you actually need. And then one coat of Mandelic. If you're really, really, really sensitive and you do not tolerate salicylic, then do two to three coats of the Mandelic 25% with CBD. So you can um, really customize it for who you are and who you're treating. I'm gonna do one of acne and two Mandelic. Uh, I'm also gonna do the same, one of acne and two Mandelic. And Christopher? I was planning on doing that too, but maybe to keep it different, we'll do, <laughs> I'll do two acne and one Mandelic. Okay, so we're gonna get started. I am, so I'm going to do one full layer of acne to Mandelic, and then I'm actually going to go back because I'm, I'm feeling a, a big pimple coming on right here. I'm going to go back and do another layer of acne just on here, and you can do that for someone who's breaking out and maybe you don't want to do a full three-layer peel. Feel free to do one full layer and then spot treat wherever you need to spot treat. Okay. Would you say that the acne is a little a little bit more stronger than the mandelic? Absolutely. Yes. yes. So you're going to get um, a mild, a pretty good tingle with the acne, depending on your sensitivity. And as you get used to Mad Skincare, we have um, 11 or 12 peels. So we are using the blue bottle peels, which are, which are water-based. Mm -hmm. um, they also have five or six um, universal or medi peels, and they're, those are based in alcohol. Um, and the acne peel in that uh, line, the universal, is much, much stronger. You will definitely get some peeling with that peel. Um, but this one is usually tolerated by most. And Antonia, yes, we can send you the recording. No problem. The nice thing, too, is I think it's important to say that in the summer, you can really enjoy all the water-based peels. Yeah. In the winter, you could you know, do water-based or you could do the ethanol-based. It's completely up to, to you. Correct. Yeah, they have an advanced acne peel that I believe is like 40% glycolic mm -hmm. and salicylic. And that one is a really nice one to do in the winter months to really step it up. So we generally leave these peels on about three minutes in between coats and you do not remove them in between coats as well. How's everyone feeling? Is everyone doing a uh, one layer acne, two Mandelic? What's everyone thinking? Or how's everyone feeling? Thumbs up, one to 10. <laughs> I'm gonna do it's definitely spicy. Uh -huh. <laughs> yep, that's a salicylic in there. So at this point, you can check in with your client and now with yourself um, to see if you would rather go on to the Mandelic or do another coat of acne. It's completely up to you. Let me go ahead and get my Mandelic prepped. And another thing, this Mandelic does have CBD in it. So it's a really nice way to not only exfoliate the skin with a chemical peel, but you're also actually calming the inflammation at the same time. So it's a kind of like a little tricky. It's also uh, it's antimicrobial. Nice. Yeah. Um, so it's, it's double. It's, the Mandelic is going to brighten and lighten. It's going to treat um, actual breakouts and the uh, CBD is also antimicrobial and anti-inflammatory. I don't know if Chris, if you'd like to add to this 
beautiful new peel. I love it. Um, I love the whole new flex um, category. Yes, the flex category is, it's just something that's so different and a, an easy go-to when you've got multiple concerns that you wanna treat within the same treatment. You've got the acne, you've got the brightening. Obviously, something like this is going to be anti-aging. So you've got all three. And again, it's nice to know that you can do that results-driven peel, but that mandelic acid is gonna be the 25% active ingredient within the peel. Um, I think that's exciting in itself that there is a peel with that much mandelic acid in it. And yeah. then the CBD comes in right behind it and heals that new wound to the skin to prompt and facilitate quicker healing time. Mm -hmm. And then you guys can go ahead and start on your second layer. And for anyone who's not familiar with mandelic acid, it's a really amazing ingredient. It's an alpha hydroxy acid and it's derived from bitter almonds. So it's a little bit more gentle. Um, it's good for wrinkles and fine lines, hyperpigmentation and discoloration, and it's good for acne. So that's where you get the flex in there because it's good for anti-aging, brightening, and acne. I see you guys fanning and getting a little warm. I'm getting a little pink. Yeah. <laughs> so did you guys feel the second layer more than the first layer? Mm -hmm. So I went straight to Mandelic. Julia, you're doing another acne? Or Mandelic? Uh, I did Mandelic this time just because I'm not too oily or breaking out right now. And yeah, no. it's really hot here today. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and feel free to manipulate and massage these peels in. I find a lot of times it's not so much of a burn with this type of peel. It's more of like an extreme itch yeah. and it's touching it feels really nice. So oh, it kind of just feels good. Yeah. <laughs> it definitely brings it up a notch too a little bit. Itchy. Mm. <laughs> How's everyone feeling? If I could get fingers, if you're on mute, 10 being this is the hottest peel I've ever felt. <laughs> <laughs> and one being I don't feel anything. Where are you I'd guys? I'm a four. Four, 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 five. All right, three. Let's say four. Yeah, four. Hmm. Okay, I'm going in with my last coat. <laughs> and then you would always do your extractions after this peel. Um, we do have another product that's going to be included in the kit. We didn't really want to do too much extractions on the video. It's kind of difficult to do extractions on yourself without like a mag lamp. And but a, Chris is going to talk about it. He is going to show us some techniques. But we are including an amazing product in your kit called Extraction in a Fraction. And that just really makes it a Soft lot easier to extract, especially after a peel like this. So a really good product that we're going to be including with the uh, professional professional kit. kit yes question yeah yeah hi right. um so are you letting the like the layers dry in between or is it okay to put the next because i decided to do two layers of the acne so okay do i have to let it dry and then put well, the cbd you don't let it dry it's just two to three minutes in between each coat okay. You don't remove the peels in between each coat. Okay. Let them sit two to three minutes and then go ahead and apply your next peel. And okay. then like Julia said, you can either just let them sit or you can manipulate them. Um, okay. Your client might really like, especially if you're using a peel with a lot of glycolic, for it to be manipulated. Okay. And on the same... Sorry, I hope this doesn't sound like a dumb question. I just graduated last Wednesday. Congratulations. <laughs> Thank you. So can I use the same brush to do the Mandel the Mandelic, right? Yeah. Just keep going. Just keep going. Yep. Okay, awesome. Thank you. And then I'm not sure if you guys caught what I just did is I went in and I 
did another spot treatment layer of the acne peel. I wanted it to be the last layer so it didn't get more spread or long around spread my around. face. Yeah, and it's actually already frosting and coming to a head. And it was, it, I'm really happy about that. I'm not sure camera's not as clear, but yeah. Um, you would want to change brushes if you had done something like a Jesna or a non-resorcinol Jesna or a 40% glycolic. But going from acne to Mendelic, you're fine. And I, I also was thinking um, it's nice to know that in between those three to five minutes, the peel is actually kind of working its way down. So when you first apply it, you can feel that there's something on the surface of the skin, but then three to five minutes later, it's really gone in and now you can apply that second layer. Yeah. Um, and that's nice too, because you're really getting as much of that active ingredient in as, as, as you're, you're hoping for. Okay, Chris, and then you're going right into the everyday renewing toner, then water, then neutralize, correct? Well, what we want to do is the everyday renewing toner, then the water, then the neutralizer. Yep. Because we want to slowly bring the pH, um, you know, from a very low level, slowly up, but do it in steps slowly. Correct. So the acne peel gals is a pH of about a 2.5. So if you go directly to the neutralizing solution, you'll get a zing. And sometimes the zing is even worse than the actual peel. peel. So that's why Mad developed this step-by-step -step protocol to slowly bring the pH of the skin up. And you're still going to feel that little bit of a zing. It's just a rapid pH change. Don't get scared. Your face isn't burning <laughs> or anything. It's just that rapid, rapid change. Yeah. So go ahead and apply the your Everyday, everyday Renewing, renewing toner. toner. Now, do you guys always like to do your extractions after the pill or it just depends or on this protocol? It depends on the protocol um, we have and what you're using. Um, we do have uh, enzyme, the four fruit enzyme. And sometimes if I'm going to do both an enzyme and a peel, sometimes I'll do the extractions after the enzyme before the peel. But in this protocol, it would be after the peel. Okay, thank you. Um, the other thing that's nice is specifically with the water-based peels, um, they're gentle enough where you can still perform extractions on the skin afterwards without having to worry about um, inciting damage. Okay. And now after that swipe with the Everyday Renewing Toner, you can go ahead and do a water swipe as well. I personally like to use these just because they're a little bit less coarse than a sponge. Your sin, skin's going to be feeling a little sensitive right now, but whatever your prefer, personal preference is. And then after this as well, or as you're doing this, you don't want to use hot water. As you can see, that wouldn't feel very nice. Cool water, I feel, is really nice and refreshing. I'm so sorry. I'm a little bit behind. I apologize. Did I miss? Are we, you doing the neutralizer right now or the everyday toner? First, the everyday renewing toner, then water rinse, then, then the neutralizer. neutralizer. Okay, so thank we're, you. On, we're on the water rinse portion. <laughs> okay. okay, thank you. I'm behind. I'll catch up. No worries. No worries. <laughs> And if, if you guys, anyone has, has done the neutralizer right after the chemical peel ever, then you'll immediately know how the step-by-step -step process just brings it up. You know, yeah. it's just so much easier. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's and so much more comfortable. Your client. <laughs> yeah. So right. now we're going to go in with the neutralizer solution. And this does have oat derived soothing extracts in it to try and help minimize that zing. Um, but again, it's just going to be that rapid change of pH skin's going to be feeling. So we did the water and then this is our neutralizer.
Did everyone have good peels? Did anyone, they weren't filled all the way too. They were only filled like that much because that's all you needed for the layers. Did everyone get them undamaged? Crossing my fingers. Right. <laughs> yeah. So it looks like uh, Christopher, we, we bought little baby spray bottles. Okay. We taped them and then taped <laughs> them. <laughs> looks like the sixth, the tenth of the jar. <laughs> well, you know what? At least you guys found something that <laughs> works. Yes. Okay, that's all done. I'm just going to wait for everyone to catch up. Just everyone give us a thumbs up when your peel is completely neutralized and you're ready to move on to the mask. Okay, we got two. And also welcome everyone to our newcomers to the class. Mm -hmm. How many newcomers do we have today? Well, originally we were supposed to have 14 newcomers, I believe it is. Wow. I can't see how many are on. Um, this my, I'm not wearing glasses. How many are here? Right now we have 15 participants. So I think we're going to be emailing a lot of recorders. <laughs> Why don't you show them what that looks like? Okay, so here. It's like almost like a tar like, like substance. Well, it's, yeah. yeah, it looks like charcoal. Looks like <laughs> this is gonna be fun. I'm hoping to get a picture of all of us with this on. <laughs> Something Very thick. to go on. You guys wanna apply this thin. The first time I did it, I do everything with a lot of product because that's who I am. And I always think thicker, the better, more product, the better. That is not the case with this. Uh, you want a thin application. Otherwise, it's not going to dry all the way and you're going to have spots left off. So just a very thin, even application. You do not want to apply it with a fan brush. If you do not have a stick, then just use the back side of your brush. Um, but yes, thinner is better. Any other tips, uh, Christopher, that you have for us? Um, I think the tongue depressors obviously are always great if you have them around. The back of the brush is great if you have that available. The, the brush itself, I just personally don't care for because it's just a little bit much with the consistency of this mask. It's hard to, you know, work with it, get it out. Um, so I like either the, the handle of the brush or the tongue depressor itself, specifically for this type of a mask. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and apply it. And we're gonna, this takes 15 to 20 minutes to set. So um, while this is setting. Well, we're, we're almost forgetting one step though, Kelly. Uh-oh. Um, <laughs> now that we, that's okay. Now that we did the neutralizing. <laughs> now we're gonna apply the red and Tresky. Thank you, Chris. We were so excited about the chocolate well, mask. <laughs> well, the, the next step that, that you, you could do is if you're doing extractions, now you've neutralized um, that three-step neutralization process, you can go in and use your extraction and a fraction right. and perform your extractions. I think it's a nice, a nice way to do it is a little, um, whether it's a four by four or a tissue wrapped tightly around each finger, and you're just going to you know, light pressure and turn, light pressure and turn. And some people do the extractions that way. Um, you're gonna have your best way that you feel comfortable with, but this is gonna really help, um, you know, set the stage for that. Absolutely. Then we do the extractions, then we would roll onto the charcoal peel off mask. Um, and I love this redness rescue too, this extra step. A lot of times you'd be doing the delicate calming gel mask, but we thought three masks might be a little much. So this is a perfect way to calm the skin down. Um, it uses water lily extract, hyaluronic acid, hops and mistletoe and chamomile. So it's just a beautiful way to calm that skin down. So once you apply that, now you can go in to the charcoal mask. I see Jenny's already well into it. Go girl. <laughs> it's also excellent after waxing, just a tip there. The redness rescue. Rescue red, red yes. <laughs> uh, <and laughs> or little, microneedling. And a little facts about charcoal, its ability to dry out toxins, dirt, and grime. That's usually what causes the blackheads. And then they also combine this with willow bark extract and alp sebum, and it's a peel off mask. So it really helps minimize any blackheads or kind of just cleans out your pores. 
and it's just a really nice one outcome. And I find a firm hand is nice with this mask because you don't want it to be too thick. So I like to keep it firm and really uh, stretch, like have it spread. And I like that I'm not getting any type of burning or tingling sensation, not too strong or aggressive. It's a, just a really nice way to still target those blackheads and those clogged pores without having to put any more acid on the skin. Okay, it's a little easier to apply this if you were in a mirror, obviously. Oh, no. <laughs> I made sure to bring my mirror. Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah, this is much better applying this with a stick or the backside of a brush. The first time I did it, I also did it with a fan brush and uh, it did not look this glamorous. <laughs> Hello. Hmm. It's really pretty. <laughs> Great social media. Imagine the pictures, which we're going to get right now. Okay. <laughs> did you guys manage to get see your the layer you did? Hmm. What? The layer that you did um, looks beautiful. Oh, thanks. <laughs> I know everyone's doing a good job. I might, I'm even going after it's already applied and just making sure it's thin and it's not too thick or clumped up in some areas. You want to do Oops. that when it's still dry. Okay. Hmm. So whatever doesn't like peel off after cell, is it pretty easy then just to Take yep. off. Okay. As long as you don't apply it too thick, then it might stick on a little bit. But overall, it's a really nice peel off mask. Okay. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. How's everyone liking it? Finding it good? <laughs> <laughs> we all need to say cheese with our charcoal mask on. <laughs> <laughs> I can already feel it tightening up. Uh, do you guys? Are you gonna do a picture, Kelly? Yeah, I'm waiting for everybody to get it on. And then I have, I have um, two clients with fungal acne. Uh, sorry, I, I have red salicylic and mandelic. I think is what um, work best for the skin acne. What does mandelic or glycolic? Uh, Sorry, there's a, little, there's a couple typos. What does mandelic or glycolic or salicylic? Um, 
Oh, battling, not, okay. I see what you're saying. Okay. <laughs> um, so she has a client who's battling fungal acne. She's read good things about sal- salicylic and mandelic. Um, what do you think would be the best, salicylic, mandelic, or glycolic? I think a combination. Um, salicylic's going to work to unplug the pore. Um, the uh, glycolic is going to shrink down the pore size. Um, and Mendelic is going to brighten and work on the inflammation, which is why we kind of did a combination um, of layering. Um, for example, the acne had both the acne peel had glycolic, salicylic, and lactic. Um, so each one does its own individual benefits for acne. Um, and the lactic will bring in a little bit of hydration too, which is also important for acne. And then do you guys have any kit packages for professional that we can purchase for all skin conditions? Yes. Yes. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. So the, those of you who are familiar with our skin kits, they are awesome. Very, very, very easy sell to the consumer use at home to continue the results of their treatment they had done with you. Um, they're going to get four products in each kit. The kits are skin concern specific. And I think the environmental kit is a great first starter kit because it's going to benefit literally everybody, regardless of um, skin type, age, background. Um, so you're always great starting them off with the environmental line. And then they can do acne. They can do anti-aging. Um, they can start off with acne if they please. They don't have to do the environmental, but it's just a, a really nice idea. And as far as the professional for all skin types, the unique thing about MAD um, is that you can address multiple skin concerns within one treatment. So if you wanna start with something that addresses all skin types, we always start with the environmental. And then from there, you can start adding specific, so now you can treat You've got the environmental line. You can treat everybody. Well, now you're going to treat somebody that has hyperpigmentation. You might just add the radiant brightening peel and the radiant brightening mask. Then you have someone that comes with a lot of inflammation. You would just add the delicate mask. But the environmental is the hub, and that can be used and has benefits for every skin type. Can we get one uh, picture with everybody looking into their Zoom camera with their mask on? Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Thank guys. You. Yeah, you can. It's getting harder and harder to smile. It's getting <laughs> so Any deals do you guys have? Um, well, right now, this whole kit is 20% off. Um, so everything that we've used here today is on sale. Um, we also run monthly sales. So every month we have anywhere between three and six additional MAD products on sale. And then we always have the master reward program where you earn your back bar free. So there's always savings that you can have um, with MAD. So always um, every month on the first of the month under the sales tab on our website, which is just californiaskincaresupply.com, all of our sales are there. Um, and then whenever we have a class, as Julia said, we run an additional sale. So this entire professional kit is 20% off. And then always you can check into the rewards program, um, which is extremely beneficial. And then at 20%, what is the cost? So it's usually $346 with a 20%. You're saving uh, 69 bucks. So that goes to 276.70, not including tax. <clears throat> is anyone feeling this uh the charcoal in the mask so far mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. yeah feels good it does any other questions from our licensed professionals while this is just you know doing its thing any other questions that we can answer about the line in general from maybe previous classes <laughs> No, no questions. <laughs> what can we chat about? 
Um, <laughs> should we talk about, um, how about we talk about fun products to combine while this is setting um, to, to treat multiple skin concerns? Would you guys like us to address that? Yes. So let's say, for example, um, and I'm just going to start throwing some scenarios out, out there, and Chris can chime in. He is an educator. He knows a lot about mad skin care. But Julia comes to see me. Um, she uh, is very reactive. She gets very red very easily. Um, she does break out, but her skin is not necessarily super oily. And she has post-inflammatory hyperpigmentation from those breakouts that usually take up to a year to fade. So for me, I would say, okay, what skin concerns I'm going to address delicate. I'm definitely going to be using the brightening line. And I'm definitely going to be using some of the acne line and then the environmental line. The reason why we always choose environmental, like uh, Chris was speaking, is because it really helps to address um, both environmental and emotional stress that, that reflects into the skin. So I might start with um, the salicylic because it's a great cleanser and then do one coat of the acne peel to address the breakouts, kind of like we just did today. Um, but then she's also um, inflammatory. So I would either use what I use today, which is the CBD, or I would go into the delicate peel, which we used in the last class. Um, and then I might do one or two more layers of the radiant brightening peel. I might do a third layer of the radiant brightening peel all over, and then just target areas where she has stronger hyperpigmentation with that radiant brightening peel. When I removed all of that, I would use the delicate mask to bring down any redness. And then choosing, I, would, I might blend a couple of masks together. Um, for example, the um, spot on zinc and sulfur mask. And then I might put a teaspoon of the radiant brightening mask and a teaspoon of the delicate mask mm -hmm. and mix those or all together. Mask. Or the wheatgrass mask. Mm -hmm. Really the sky's the limit, but then I would be treating all three of her concerns. And when I was finished with that and did some extractions, I might um, cocktail some uh, serums together. The Redness Rescue, for example, which we just did, and the Spot On Skin Brightening Serum for hyperpigmentation. And then I would probably blend some finishing creams, the uh, Delicate Daytime Moisturizer to also um, address the inflammation and then the radiant brightening moisturizer. So that's just kind of an example. You guys can shoot some examples mm -hmm. and we can just come up. What, if, what mm -hmm. if you had somebody kind of similar to that, but with rosacea, especially in the cheek area? And some um, Yep, I would stick to the delicate peel. Mm -hmm. So I would start with the delicate, um, delicate cleanser. And then I would do one coat of delicate peel and then check in with them. How are you feeling? Um, if they felt like they could handle more, I would either do a second delicate. Or the four fruit enzyme. Or the four fruit enzyme or the uh, Mendelic 25% with CBD. Those would all be choices. Um, so they have rosacea, but what else do they have? Because we want to treat multiple things. Right, right. Okay. What would be the second concern? Oh, acne. acne. Okay. Then I would probably um, blend together the delicate mask and the detox mask. That could okay. be a choice. Um, I'm not sure about this mask on rosacea. How are you feeling about that, Christopher? I don't think it's probably the best idea for rosacea. I think it's a little bit aggressive. It can be a little bit, you know, just again, on the aggressive side, it's really pulling a lot of impurities out, which is great. Yeah. But for, you know, mild rosacea, you might be fine with more extreme rosacea. It might be a little too much for that client. And what it, with the wheatgrass with the CBD? I feel like that was super soothing when we did that class. That would be great. Yeah. And because the CBD is very antimicrobial, it'd be great um, for the acne as well in that. So oh, that okay. would be perfect. Okay. And then you can blend the wheatgrass mask 
with the detox mask. So at the same time, you're raising the antioxidants on the skin, you're protecting against environmental stress, which rosacea needs. A lot of times, environmental factors, factors will make it become more inflamed. So mixing those two, then you're treating the acne and the rosacea. So that be, really the sky's the limit um, on what you can blend together. Um, but that would be a great protocol for somebody with acne rosacea. And then we've had a couple questions. Um, so retail follow-up for the back-to-school kids after this treatment. Well, it depends. If they are more acne-prone, then I would definitely stick to the breakout control daily moisturizer, the ginger, the willow bark in there. It's going to be a nice way to moisturize them without clogging their pores, um, without leaving them being greasy. We're going to do that as our finishing cream, and it just leaves the skin feeling very fresh, especially, um, I know a lot of teenagers, so they get put on like Accutane, they get put on these really intense prescriptions, so it'd be a nice way, um, obviously I wouldn't want to, it's, you don't really want to you have a hard time treating kids who are on Accutane, but this is a nice way to treat the acne without throwing a bunch of harsh ingredients onto it. So you're still protecting the skin. Um, I'd also do like the Redness Rescue to help against any inflammation, calm that down. And hydrate because the Redness Rescue has hyaluronic acid in it. So remember that acne does need moisture. Um, so the Redness Rescue is fabulous for that. If they're feeling dry, they can apply it multiple times um, to give the skin water um, and anti-inflammatory benefits. And then depending on how sensitive they are, I mean, all of their cleansers are really nice. You could either choose from the mega rich environmental cleanser to help detoxify the or skin. Or delicate. Delicate cleanser, salicylic. You could even go with the brightening cleanser if they have a lot of post-inflammatory hyperpigmentation. So that's when you really are going to get down into your skin analysis and see what exactly ingredients they need. Um, if, if you have to, if you want to pick three, because generally when you're client comes in, you're going to give them three products um, just to be to start with for acne. Um, benzoyl peroxide would be a great place. Um, they could put benzoyl peroxide 5% is a really good place to start. Matt has a 5 and a 10%. I always like to start with 5. Um, they can put it all over their skin and go to bed. Um, and then in the morning cleanse and use that breakout control moisturizer. So I would probably do salicylic cleanser, benzoyl peroxide gel, and breakout control daily moisturizer for three. And then I'd add the redness rescue and a great sun protection. And adding to that, <laughs> if they can get more, this also answers another question. How do you incorporate the acne drying lotion? So that is um, sulfur and a salicylic base. You With don't want to shake it. Um, yeah, can chamomile it. and camphor. The, you want the pink sulfur to, sul to be at the bottom. You don't want it to be all all shaken up. What you do is you take a Q-tip and you dip it through the salicylic into the sulfur and then you spot treat whatever area that you want to help. Um, yeah, this is what it looks like. This is a best, best, best seller. So this is really good if you have a client that gets one or two or three or four really bad breakouts. They don't necessarily need benzoyl peroxide all over their face. Um, so this would be the choice for them. They'll just spot it, let it dry, go to bed. If you have uh, someone with a larger area of congestion and, and um, you know more grade two acne, grade two and three, then go feel free to have them wear the benzoyl peroxide gel to bed. And then, um, yes, if you guys are still interested in the last class we did, the best summer skin, we can still offer that discount for the kit. That's no problem. And then is the Redness Rescue a treatment or a cleanser? No, the Redness Rescue is this amazing serum. little uh, gel-like serum that has water lily, hyaluronic acid, aloe vera, um, chamomile, hops, and mistletoe. It's really just jam-packed. It also has oat-derived soothing complexes, has tripeptide 8, I believe, which is a really nice calming peptide. So not only is it using the botanicals to really help calm the skin, it's also using hyaluronic acid, and it's using um, peptide and stem cell technology. So this is something that's good for everyone. Everyone I needs to have this in their backpack. 
Yeah, we say it's a, uh, you need it always on your toolbox. For so it comes in this size and a four ounce size for your back bar. You just need to have it. And this is Breakout Control Daily Moisturizer, but it looks just like this. It's in this size. There's two products that you absolutely have to have in your back bar, and it would be Redness Rescue and Delicate Skin Calming Gel Mask. Those are both kind of um, emergency products. I mean, you use them in almost every MAD product, but if something would happen, um, let's say- Maybe post wax as Yeah, well. post wax, you lifted skin because they didn't tell you they were on retinol, whatever. Mm -hmm. And those are two must haves, I think. I mean, there's so many wonderful products in MAD skincare, but I, I tell every esthetician, those two um, are gonna really immediately heal, bring down redness, soothe, all of those things you need. Um, yeah, and it's also really nice for someone with acne because if you feel it's not heavy at all, it's super, super light. It's going to hydrate them, and it's just, it's one of my favorite products out of all the lines we carry for calming the skin down. And then I got another question. Do you think we can use blue LED therapy with the charcoal mask? No, this is going to block that. Through. If you <laughs> want to do LED, um, I would instead the stepper we put on the redness rescue before the charcoal mask, I do the delicate skin calming gel mask. That would be post extraction. And then you can go in with your LED. While that mask is on. While that mask is on. Because it's clear and it's a gel, but nothing's going to penetrate through this charcoal mask mm -hmm. at all. Mm -hmm. And then uh, <laughs> can you incorporate any modalities with this treatment? So you can yeah. with most of the mad skincare masks. Um, while this one's on, it would be difficult Not to with do... this particular mask, but yeah. in this treatment, absolutely. Yes. Um, anything that, that you would mm -hmm. want to do. I can't see, maybe m not microneedling, but you could do microdermabrasion. Um, if you were doing microcurrent, yeah, oh yeah, yeah definitely. LED, uh, yeah, so your spatula, um, could even do microblading. Uh, I would probably, if I was doing microblading, I wouldn't do the acne peel, I would just do the Mandelic peel. And mine's starting to feel tightened, and it's been on. Yeah, this is feeling like it's really, it's still, it's almost ready. Yeah, so did we answer all of those? Yeah, I think we did. <laughs> Do you um, recommend any specific brands of LED? Um, I love Lightstem. I like Lightstem. They're super popular. and I, I have a Saluma here. Yeah, Saluma's I like my Saluma. great. Um, Depends on if you want handheld or a panel. Um, I like the Saluma because it's like really close to the face. I and know. you don't have to hold it. Um, but really, yeah, Light, uh, Lightstem or Saluma, they're, they're two fabulous brands. You mm -hmm. can't go wrong with either of them. Mm -hmm. Let's see if this is, how's the mask feeling, everyone? Like it's ready mine's, to... Mine's still not dry. Maybe. Yeah, mine no, mine's not dry. sit for a little longer. It hasn't been quite 20 minutes yet. It's been about 15, so another five minutes or so. When you do take it off, do you do like top to bottom, bottom to top? Bottom. Yep. Top to up. <laughs> I'm just going to refresh this water. Do you guys need to get some fresh water for the final uh, steps of the treatment? Hmm. I, I planned ahead with two bowls. Uh -huh. <laughs> you have plenty? Okay, well, I'll be right back. Really um, nice Mad tonight. also has these little discovery kits. Um, so you could just send your client home with an acne discovery kit. And it has, I believe, four or five. Uh, cleanser, four. Yeah, okay. I can grab it and show it to you. Hold on one sec. So this is a great, so there's um, 
five different discovery kits. There's one for delicate, one for brightening, one for anti-aging, um, one for, an uh, lost it. Uh, brightening, anti-aging, environmental, acne, acne delicate. And delicate. And, yeah. So this would be a great um, way so your client can try four different products. I can't read what's in it. But. Uh, so it has the salicylic cleansing gel, which is the 2% salicylic. That is in a two ounce. The breakout control daily moisturizer. That is the tea tree, peppermint, ginger, and witch hazel moisturizer. It comes in a one ounce. The spot on zinc and sulfur mask. Um, where the acne drying lotion is just a spot treatment. This can be used as a spot treatment all or all over. And then the blemish repelling gel, which is 5% uh, benzyl, benzyl peroxide. And mm -hmm. so that is a really, it's not going to last them too long, but it's a good way to get them introduced to the line and for them to fall in love with your products. Then they can go back in and purchase the full retail sizes. They make great gifts too. We always put these on sale um, in December. So um, look for those as well then. Right. They can always do the, um, full-size products or they they can do a kit all over again it's it's just totally up to them mm -hmm. absolutely and they're great for travel too i take them everywhere my mask is definitely starting to feel tight i mean like too <laughs> moving around i feel it breaking up a little bit how's everyone feeling on tightness does it still feel wet can you touch it without having stuff on your hands how's everyone feeling Okay. <laughs> yeah. Off and almost. I think it's almost ready. Yeah. Yeah. We can start the removal process. I think mine isn't quite ready. I yet. know. It's not. No. Mine's not ready. It's not ready yet. Uh -uh. <laughs> I also put the um, Redness Rescue on right before applying it, so it might have um, caused it to stay moist a little bit longer. This really dried beautifully. And in the beginning, it was hard to, like you guys were saying, get it off all one piece. But as you work with this mask more and more, it's a lot easier to strike that balance. Mm -hmm. Feels like it's almost dry. It's just gooey right here. There's a little more time up there. Okay, and then after this, we have a few more steps. I'm still good. A little bit. Hmm. I feel like I'm taking off like stage makeup. <laughs> yeah. It looks like it's still wet. There it goes. So, in retrospect, mine still needed to sit. <laughs> I do have a question. So, you know, ideally, like you're going to have, or not ideally, I use the wrong word. So you are going to probably have like high school kids that are athletes and whatnot in college. What do you recommend to them as far as waiting after a treatment? Can they, you know, what if they come to me and say, Jess, I got a game, but I need this. Can they exercise? Is exercise like a no after this treatment or can they Absolutely. go back there? Absolutely. Yes, it's a no. <laughs> um, <laughs> because of the peel. Yeah, it depends on how many layers of the peel you do. Um, 
but generally I'd say wait 48 hours um, and that's if they don't have any flaking if they need to go immediately the next day then I would um, adjust what what treatment I would do them I'd maybe just do like the four fruit enzyme okay really nice so you could just do maybe one layer of acne but I hesitate sending a kid out into the sun after I give them a chemical peel and they say they're gonna wear their SPF well and the, the heat could cause a reaction that just the heat in the helmet like especially if they're playing football or something um, the heat could cause a reaction Okay, so maybe we need to apply this just a little thinner and just a little bit more time. Yeah, it's, it needs a full 20 minutes, I feel like. Because where it completely dried, it lifted really easy and just peeled right off. Where it's not dry, I'm having to go back in but it's a, you know, it's a learning curve. The more you, the more you use it, you just definitely want it to be dry. Oh. Ellie, can I make a comment on the mask? Yeah. Yeah, it's better using your fingers to apply that consistency because then you can just get it smooth and versus using the spatula or using oh, okay. the end. Oh, okay. I think that worked the best. Yeah. Yeah. Because that's the worst thing. Clients hate it when you start trying to take off a mask. Yeah. And then it's not coming off the way that you want it to come <laughs> off. And they're like, ah, and you're like, oh no. <laughs> <laughs> um, I feel like if I had waited, three or four more minutes, it would have come off really good. Yeah. Because this part that was dry, I just took it and yeah, it rolled, rolled off. off. Yeah. I put it too thick here and it's stuck and I put it too thick here. So it's yeah. just got to work with it. Yep. When you do put it on with your fingers, does it stick to your fingertips then or no? No, you just use the one finger and just go like that. No, it didn't. It was easy to rinse off. It, there was no, there was no gooeyness to it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Is someone just coming in? A little late. <laughs> Looks like it. <laughs> okay. All right. <laughs> you can go ahead and start. Yeah. Okay. So how? Let me put on my glasses. How is everybody? Everybody's mask off. Okay. We just lose someone? Uh, I think someone just joined. Okay. Okay. Christopher, so now we're going to go on to the uh, detoxification mask. Environmental detox. Mm -hmm. Okay. Oh. Okay, someone's iPhone is popping up right in the middle. <laughs> Ariana. Welcome, Ariana. Oh, welcome, Ariana. <laughs> okay. So we're go going to apply this with a fan brush nice and easy. This is just very easy to work with, this mask. Yes, I, this is one of my favorite. And back to the question, uh, uh, a treatment that can be given to all skin types, this mask has benefits for every single person. 
acne, delicate, inflamed. And you can actually just, you can put this on with a fan brush or just with your hands. You can put it on, mm -hmm. on over it. And this mask is very creamy. Feel free to massage this mask in, or not in, but just, it will absorb um, about 50%. Feels so nice and cooling. Mm -hmm. <laughs> is your is a little kid helping you, Rachel? <laughs> <laughs> so cute. Teach him young. Yeah, I, I could only keep her away for so long, and now she's like, what? What are you doing? Mm -hmm. So Rachel's Fresno still closed? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> I have one more. Unless you want to work outside in 105 degrees. Yeah, no. Fresno is not, <laughs> not the place to work outside. Although I don't really think any place is the place to work outside. Okay. I mean, if you have the availability to do it, then, you know, power to you. Yeah, yeah. So many people, just that's not an option. Okay, so. That feels wonderful. I love this mask. I feel like I didn't get all of this one. There we go. Yeah. This is the environmental detox mask. So this is really good for all skin types. Um, it's going to be detoxing. It has a lot of antioxidants in it. It has HeloGuard 365. It's a peptide based mask mm -hmm. um, for um, protecting against both environmental and emotional stress we're all needing right now. <laughs> so everybody needs this mask right now. And I really like to massage this mask as well. Very hydrating. Feels so good. Mm -hmm. um, so it detoxifies, it protects skin cells, sends environmental factors, it de stresses, it uses pollution defense peptides, um, black currency oil, it uses a really beautiful peptide called Cell Detox. And it's Which just, Chris touched on uh -huh. in the beginning. And it's just really ide ideal for damaged, dry, undernourished skin. Um, really perfect for everyone. And the oxygen, the uh, oxygen skin, don't forget about that. Yeah. Uh huh. Yes. And then, uh, is it better to apply thicker? But this mask, it's kind of personal preference. I like to apply it thick, but you can be more light handed if you so choose. So this comes to the Ramads Rewards Program. Um, some of the products can't be earned for free. The charcoal mask is one of them, but um, I would say 80% of the product can be earned for free. So it takes that stress of how many, how, how, what's, I need to use the exact amount to protect my overall cost. Um, it's not as worrisome when you've earned it for free. But you can see it's just so, it stays creamy for so long. You can also, if you choose, like you ladies were saying in the previous um, class, you can actually massage this around if you want to. Absolutely, yeah. it has that really nice creamy consistency even though it is a clay-based mask. And uh, you can also mix this with any of their masks. Um, if, with the exclusion of the, the charcoal. Charcoal. Yeah. You can see it comes off quite easily. Mm 
Okay. Okay, so this can sit 10 minutes, but because the charcoal mask just had to sit on for so long and um, we're gonna go ahead and remove it. But it's nice because that did take off any um, leftover traces of the charcoal mask. So don't worry if you're in the treatment room and you can't get every single piece off, you're gonna apply a second mask. Um, it, it will It'll come off then. Yeah. Because now I don't have any any traces left. So then, with the charcoal mask, you're most likely always going to have a like environmental mask or brightening mask after. Yeah, or wheatgrass, or uh, or yeah. Or delicate if you wanted. But you don't have to. You could just do the charcoal mask. You definitely want to apply it thinner and let it sit um, 20 to 25 minutes. My skin feels very clean. Mm -hmm. Okay, so this is, obviously we're removing this much faster. <laughs> After you remove the detox, now you're gonna go in with a spot on uh, targeted skin brightening serum. Uh, this uses holistic skin lighteners to work to even the skin tone. And then it uses like Emblica um, a multivitamin C complex, which is BVOSC, Stay C50, and magnesium ascorbyl phosphate. So it's really jam packed. And then it also uses blueberry fruit extract, B white, which is a really nice brightening peptide, and Lumi skin, which is another brightening peptide. Uh, so this is what it looks like in retail. Comes in the blue bottle in professional. And then this doesn't just have to be used as a spot on targeted serum. You can use this all over the face. Um, the C4 intensive brightening serum is a little bit more on the pricier side. It's $49 wholesale. This one I think is like only $21 yeah. wholesale. Um, so if your client still wants something brightening but doesn't necessarily want to spend like the 90 90 $98 of the C4, this is going to be a good one. It's not going to last them quite as long, um, but it's really nice. The C4 is a, an excellent serum for everybody, just about. Um, yeah. Okay, after you apply that, we're going to go in with the Breakout Control Daily Moisturizer. This uses tea tree, peppermint, ginger root, and witch hazel. And it's very lightweight. People love this as a bestseller. Yes, it is. It smells amazing. And it's ideal for oily and combination skin, um, breakout prone skin, or irritated and inflamed skin due to acne. Helps control the oil production and calms irritated skin at the same time. It's <laughs> really nice. Again, doesn't contain any... Um, colorants or sulfates or parabens, just very clean product. No parabens, no artificial colorants, no artificial dyes, cruelty free. Yep. And so all the products mix together so well in that way. If you're layering them at home, you can, you know, the sky's the limit with mixing and matching. And now we're, next, we're going to go to the Hyper Sheer Matte Finish. This comes in a non-matte finish, but because this treatment was designed for someone who was more combination, this, we chose the matte. Uses an antioxidant formulizer, formu formula mm -hmm. to promote uh, cellular repair. And then it aids in environmental stress. 
And this can be worn under makeup as well because it is that really nice matte finish. And this contains 9% zinc oxide, but it doesn't, you'll see, it doesn't leave any type of white cast on the skin. It also has passion fruit extract and watercress extract and then the BDOSC. So that's a lot of additional active ingredients for a sun protection and it's an SPF 50. Okay. I know most of you, if you that would have attended the other classes, used the self-adjusting foundation serum SPF 50, which is also lovely. But this is just such a great option for um, congested skin, or really, it's not dehydrating at all. If anybody can use it that likes more of a mattifying finish to their sun protection. And it's great for summer. Yes. So that's completed all the steps with this treatment. How yeah. are you guys feeling? How are all of our attendees? Are you happy, <laughs> just as happy with this one as you were with the previous ones that we did? Get nods. <laughs> First oh. one, so I'm a little biased. It's a good one. <laughs> okay, good, good. Okay, guys, I wanna show you, this is the best thing ever. The mega rich antioxidant cleansing. Uh, this is like my, I sleep with it. <laughs> I know, it leaves the skin so soft. Oh, I love it, like every day. Yeah, my, this is my, if I had to go on Survivor Island, this is my, <laughs> right here. <laughs> <laughs> Does anyone have any uh, last questions or anything? And you guys could just go ahead and give us a call too um, on our 800 number um, and we can discuss more in depth anything that you wanna chat about. Quick question, can I exercise tonight with this peel or should I wait? What type of exercise? Uh, 30 minutes on my elliptical with the incline. <laughs> no, okay. Okay. Yeah, <laughs> I would say just, you know, it's not gonna take away everything you did, but it's probably not the best idea after a peel okay. specifically, but it, it's gentle enough where it's not gonna hurt anything. Yeah. These are water-based peels. Yeah, if you were doing like, um, definitely walking would be, you just don't turn your elliptical up as the, you know, like you're climbing mountains. Oh, okay. So just do, it. do this, not this. Yeah. <laughs> this has been great. Thank you guys so much for my first, like I decided to treat myself because I graduated last Wednesday from school. Yeah, Academy in Poway. Yay. And uh, so I was like, okay, I'm gonna treat myself with this class. It's been wonderful. Thank you. Thank you, Christopher and ladies. You're welcome. Yeah, you're so welcome. Thank you for your time. All right, see you guys soon. And just call us if you guys think of any other questions or, um, or anything. <laughs> okay, thank you, Bye. Christopher. Thank, thank you, you so Christopher. much. Thank you guys very much.